Hello there viewers, this is Hamza Ali from unlockboo.com and today I'll be showing you how to turn any Android phone into an iPhone. So it's true that not everyone can afford an iPhone 10. I mean, it's extremely expensive. So for all the poor guys out there like me, what we have is an app called Phone X Launcher. It's really simple to install. Just go to the Play Store and install it like so. Uh, basically, as we can see here, it has numerous interesting features which will turn it into something very similar to the, to the actual iPhone X. Here you see it's, it gives you the control center, it has the same notification style and it also is supposed to give you multitasking. So let's take a look if it actually lives up to its name. Here we go. The app is launching. Well, to now it looks pretty exciting. Oh, there's a few advertisements you need to go through. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is select an iOS-centric wallpaper. I think we'll go with um, this one. All right. So once you've selected your wallpaper, it'll ask us for a few permissions. Granting those shouldn't be a problem. Okay, yes, allow. Okay, okay, done done with that okay it's asking us for additional permissions no problem no problem as you guys can see here it's also included the iphone 10 notch up right up here uh okay it has the same features swipe down to search etc all right so this notch up here might seem a little annoying at first i mean it doesn't really serve any real purpose other than being cosmetically similar to the iphone 10 Okay, so let's check out the different features. Uh, the search applications feature seems to be working fine, as it should for the iPhone 10. And in addition, it's also replaced all the icons. As we can see here, the Play Store is still the Play Store, but it has the, has the logo for the Apple Store. The same goes for the gallery, etc., etc. Now, an additional feature that we, should, we would like to check is the swipe up panel. Over here, as you can see, we have options to... Oh, it requires additional permissions. As you can see here, it has options to vary the brightness, lower it, change the volume, and we have options for the flashlight, which requires even additional permissions. This is getting annoying real fast. You can ch uh, toggle airplane mode, the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, location, uh, lock screen rotation etc basically it has all the features that you would expect of the iPhone 10 okay now we we'll check out the multitasking feature what's that it's it's causing the phone to vibrate really rapidly the multitask feature isn't really a success okay so what we're gonna do now is have a look at the iPhone, at a real actual iPhone 10. As you can see here. And this is where you're going to find out the difference between the actual thing and what's pretty much a fake. Okay, so... Oh, here we have it. The multitask feature is working perfectly. Whereas here, using this app, all it causes is the phone to vibrate incessantly. Not good at all. Okay, so another interesting thing that I noticed here was that if you go to the settings, it's possible for you to get rid of this annoying notch. I mean, look at this. Once you open the settings, it has the default Android toolbar on the top with the same symbols for the Wi-Fi, etc. They've even named it the annoying iPhone X notch. Okay, no worries. We got that done. But overall, my recommendation would be to stay away from this app. I mean, it's just a poor imitation of what the actual thing is. And there are many apps out there, such as uh, Nova, which could serve the purposes for this much better. I mean, it's an understandable thing. The iPhone 10 is extremely expensive. And if you're a real iPhone or an Apple fanboy, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You can always use apps like these. So yeah, that's all, that's all there is to it. Please do give us your thoughts in the comment section below and do subscribe to our, to our channel. See you next time. Take care.